Okay, is there an assistant manager? That is me. Okay, yeah, I'm interested in using the room. Uh -huh. And I see I got the rules and then uh, the paperwork to fill out. Uh -huh. So I'll just uh, fill it out and then, and then hand it to you. And you have the schedule? Uh, you know what today looks like yeah. up here too? Today? I don't think we have it up there. Yeah, it didn't sound like it. And I'm just, I'm spontaneous. I only need it for an hour or two. Just jump in, mm -hmm. do like a Zoom meeting type of thing, and then jump out. Okay. That's what I'm interested in. Yeah, yeah we have nothing planned today. Okay. And I, yeah, I have to fill this out, give it to you, and then uh, it looks pretty good to be clear to... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll just, this will take a couple of minutes, it looks like. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is a copy I want. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I hope it looks okay. I, I just want to discuss legal topics on uh, YouTube, uh, like the um, when you go live, you right. go you go live on YouTube, and there's people that show up, and I just got some new new information that I want to discuss with everybody. Uh, if I mean, <laughs> if I can have uh, use that room, that'd be ideal. But uh, I mean, it's, it's up to you guys, your manager or you. I guess and you're wanting to use it today. Yeah, just okay. jump in and mm -hmm. and use it for a couple hours, and then um, that's it. Be online, and because your Wi-Fi seems okay, it looks like I could just just go on online, and I call it a Zoom meeting, but it's it's actually through YouTube, so I'll just go on and <clears throat> discuss through YouTube. <coughs> So it's, it's unknown how many people show up, but it doesn't matter because yeah. it's about more the people in the room mm -hmm. than online. All right. now, I'm sure not everybody does this type of thing that you've seen, but yeah. I'm a traveler, so I'm, I just, I, I'm stopping here. And I see this room looks, looks, I mean, like it'll work. Uh, down to Alicia and okay. the front Oh, she has a key? No, it's open. You can, you can go ahead. But still take this to her? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. told him you had to give the permission for him to use it so all right thank you okay all right. well, and I'll, I'll there's a, a light okay yeah i would have felt gotten to that Seagulls, grackles, and crows in this parking lot. The grackles are the most uh, verbal. Oh, and pigeons too. Seagulls, grackles, crows, and pigeons. All a nice variety in this Walmart parking lot. It's very, very diverse in this natural environment. Got buyer's privileges here. So the cop took the fire lane to go shopping. And he's got a spot here, but it's uh, apparently for the the parking lot security. Maybe they need to give him another space. All right, I actually see so a uh, DVD writer, $26. Got it because 
there's still courts out there that want to harass me and and then sell me their CDs so now I can actually play them okay it's already it's taken since I disconnected the battery it's taken longer for the the meter the gas meter to recognize I gotta say I don't like this setup at all I don't want to sit in front of the librarians using my computer They're just driving through. Wow, those cops were not kidding. There is a homeless camp back here near the soccer fields. I'm gonna have a quick look. I thought that cop was lying to me. Look at that, they got a nice little bridge, a worn trail. There really is a significant homeless camp here. They got clothes laying up. Hello, is anybody here? Anybody? I uh, got a visitor. I'm just, just uh, visiting. Nobody? Okay. It looks kind of empty here. <laughs> it's pretty worn in. Wow. <laughs> 2024 MNC? So there's, I, I don't mean to... Are we okay? It, it, there's nobody here, right? You're all alive? Nope. Nobody here. Got a nice mattress. Okay. All right. No booby traps. That's nice. Jeez, there really is a homeless population. Oh my God. And everything is wet, of course. Looks like they've been established here for a while. I would have never believed the cop until I seen this. <laughs> but they're not here right now. Hell, I could sleep in that tent. Instead of getting a motel, I could just bunk up in here. Is there really nobody? Did they? I think somebody's probably... Probably here, but... Uh, that's something to consider at uh, on Tuesday night something to consider if nobody's really sleeping in here you know if I think about it it would be cheaper to get a tent at Walmart and move in be their neighbor for a night with a tent maybe even leave it behind because a motel is $75 a tent is much cheaper all right, that was an unfortunate turn of events. Having the mechanic come out and bring the parts that I had delivered to him, telling me he's not gonna do the work. All because another mechanic said he doesn't like me. He didn't wanna get in the middle of it. So I need to find other options. It's, it's unfortunate it has to turn out this way. All right, so when I shift into first and second gear, as I'm shift, as I'm pushing in the, pushing in the clutch, it's tight. The, the clutch is tight at the bottom towards the floor. And then as I'm shifting, it sounds, it sounds like uh, there's rubbing against a rubber. It's making a rubber rubbing sound in the process. And sometimes in first gear, I have to uh, like keep the clutch depressed because it's like you know five miles an hour or less I have to kind of drive with the clutch in in the first gear but when I get up in speed then I can release it so I'm hanging on to the clutch a little bit longer than I than I want to which is causing extra rubbing of this rubber sound rubbing 
And then, I, I don't know, I think that the tires are wobbly. They feel, they feel unstable. I'm only going 55 on a 65 and just being cautious, watching everything in case something just blows because, wow, could something be rubbing against my tire? Oh, and wind is pushing me all over the place. I'm also unstable with that. And I just got it. I just got new tires, tires, the back tires brought to the front. So I'm just, I'm just being cautious, but I'm not seeing slipping, okay? Uh, the slipping's not happening, and I'm going up a hill now, and I'm 55 in the fifth gear, and before it was slipping, but not so much now. So it seems like the worst problem is, is in the higher, in the lower gears, just switching gears, especially that first gear when I got to hang on to the clutch a little bit longer at times and get that rubbing. Something, something's got to give out with all that rubbing. All right, somebody said that after I ran my car with the camera on the hood listening to it, they said it was probably not the clutch. And I kind of believe that because it's really not incredibly bad. They're saying it's the actuator. I got 300 tied up into these. I just bought these a couple days ago. I'm gonna return them to O'Reilly's. I got 0.7 miles to walk. I think I'm just gonna take these back and uh, get a refund right away at this other O'Reilly's in this town just for safety purposes of my savings because I may not even need to do the whole clutch thing. I'll ask about the actuator. Is there, can I talk to somebody? Is there some, or is there, okay, are you on the clock? Yeah. <laughs> right, you're, okay. Um, I'm interested in the schedule for the study room. Can, can I, I wanna, I'm interested in using it, but I mean, I don't wanna interrupt any schedule, scheduled, um, you know, times. Oh, today? Today. It is available. Let me get a form for you. A form? Yeah, okay. Do you like a candy? Except preceding policies. I said, okay. All of the preceding policies. Preceding policies. Policies. Well, it just... Uh, Are they written somewhere? I like to write, write I guess I, I have to. I mean, I can't just sign something without knowing what that's all about. Room policies, okay. Okay, just it's a lot. Study room is up to six people. Okay. It just kind of spells it out for you. There are three rooms. Oh. You have I know that there's the one you guys are using. Well, I'm sure. They're all different sizes, I'm sure. Yes, they are. Don't charge admissions, sell commercial solicit genealogy for cultural public information yeah it's public information for sure all right to solicit private social gambling 
Not be scheduled for more than six months. The library board reserves the right to relocate a group. No serum liability, okay. No staples. Oh, this is, okay, this is uh, extending into your meeting room stuff. <laughs> I gotta read about your meeting room. It's the large one that's in the back. Yeah, I'm reading about that, apparently. Oh, yeah, there's one over there, yeah. That's even bigger, I'm sure. Yes, sir. There's only 21. Yeah, meeting room. Okay. Um, you don't have a distinction between study room and meeting room. It's a meeting hall after the library is closed. Okay. All right. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no. It's not the meeting room, though. Reading. Okay. And that's a reservation. Okay. There's no charge for the study room. Yeah. It's the one right there with the window. Okay. I have a better. Oh. I don't have a library card. I should have seen that. You can sign in as a guest. Okay. All right. I'll do that. <clears throat> All right. Oh, I don't know. See, oh yeah, it's fourteenth. Fourteen, yeah. And it's all here. I want to use the library's address? Uh, no. This. No. Okay, today, 14 Feb. Start. It's uh, start at 12 10. And I think 2 10. Whatever, 2. Mm -hmm. Topic of meeting. Oh, um, let's see. I was going to. Oh, yeah, contract. Uh, let's see. Screen. is the one you. Yeah, because I'm going to be talking. Okay. Oh, yeah, I better do that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Your address? Yeah, I just want to use the library address. Yes, I've okay. got it. Yeah. Just put here. I just, well, I, I don't know why. That's and a phone number? Yeah, I don't I don't have a, a active um, phone plan. Okay. I do have a phone. But I just use Wi-Fi, I mean, and social media. Okay. All right, well, it's open. Oh, it is? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> I got me a trapped bunny rabbit here. It's got nowhere to go. I'll move over just oh there it is oh all right from what i can tell the actuator or uh i'm the actuator okay for a clutch actuator it's actu actuating is only for uh automatics which i do not have i only have a a stick shift so that's uh, the stick shift, and so I use a clutch on a 2004 Focus. When this went, because I, I used the automatic, or the, uh, what is this called? The cruise control. I pressed it on, and then uh, hit coast, and I was out of gear going down a hill at 55 miles an hour, and the RPMs, shot up to 6,000 and that's when things really went bad for me as it hit 6,000 I pushed in the clutch okay and and then uh, I think that's that did something bad I didn't really hear anything but uh, afterward it then got stiff it got stiff at the bottom and Shifting was difficult. Also, there was some slipping of gears. So as I was giving it gas going up a hill, it was uh, shooting up in RPMs 
and then uh, I was getting no power um, but after some driving when it, it was it got it was stiff at the bottom portion and now over time as I've been driving it's no longer it's no longer stiff at the bottom so uh, that's that's weird something's worked itself out with this clutch and that it's now feeling smooth all the way through all right I thought maybe something got stuck in there but uh, I can't quite see I can't quite see anything up there that would cause the sticking on the driver's side all right but something got stuck in there at the bottom and now it's no longer stuck so what's the deal with that okay what's the deal with that I don't understand and that's that's it I mean that's about it for symptoms is that now it's just given me a, such a hard time with uh, the first gear I just can't understand what what needs to be fixed because I think I'm pretty sure the plates are good I'm pretty sure uh, the plates are I think good in here I was told there the actuators are normally like behind the the air but I don't quite see anything and and now now that I know better that a stick shift does not have an actuator what could be the issue what do I need to do is it going to work itself out because it kind of is that's the weird thing is it the rubber is there some kind of rubber thing is it the springs working themselves out because it's kind of moved back to normal. <clears throat> All right, here I'm looking and uh, on the internet a lot for answers, going to chat GPT for answers. And it's like, I didn't realize the library has manuals for the automotive repair and testing that O'Reilly's has. They're selling, O'Reilly's is selling a, a book for my kind of car for, for $27. It's like, you know, I might want to buy that, but no, I'm curious about what the library's got. I didn't think to check. And I have seen manuals at libraries all over the place. I just never put it together that I should be checking those now. Hi, I have a Ford Focus 2004 with a broken clutch. Mm -hmm. I was wondering what your schedule looks like for that kind of repair. Probably Wednesday or Thursday before I can get to it. Before, yeah, and that could be like a two day job, huh? So you gotta do yeah, a lot. I mean, There's a, on, I mean, is the clutch slipping or the pedal yeah. goes to the floor or what's going on? Oh, it's not going to the floor. It actually gets stiff right before the floor, but it is slipping going up hills. Has I'll, it been doing that for a while or oh, just no. started doing Just started. Like I was in cruise control mm -hmm. and put it in cruise control when it was out of gear. And then yeah. the RPM shot up to like 6,000. If you'll come in, I'll give you an idea what it would cost to do it. Come on in. So I, I uh, got a list of the parts that I need from from uh, O'Reilly's. So they ordered them. It takes them a day. What all I, did you order? A clutch kit and or what? Yeah, I got a list. I gave them. It's a clutch kit. Throw out. I think the throw out bearing, the pilot bearing, a couple of those little bearing things. It's this top list. It, that's not all of those, but. So what are you getting? It? Did you get all kind of stuff on? It's three kits. It's gonna be the cl uh, 
the, oh, the slave cylinder. It's going to be the clutch kit, uh -huh. and then the slave the, pi cylinder. the pilot bearing, uh -huh. and then there was uh, something else. That's, I think the throw-up bearing might come with the kit. Uh -huh. All right. Um, seal. Maybe the rear main, main seal retainer. That's recommended to change. Uh -huh. uh, those three things are so the kit, okay. pilot bearing, and that's rear main. Four <clears throat> focus. 2004 Ford Focus. What size engine? Uh, 2.3. <clears throat> well, this is a bit of a relief. I'm parked over there in the park in Meridian, Mississippi, trying to plot where to go for Walmart and all that. But just down the road is this Hobby Lobby here. I just come down over here to park for a peace of mind. If I need Walmart, I can walk there or bicycle. All right, down from the Hobby Lobby. I think this is the mall area, Ross and Petco. People have treated this drainage like it's a ramp for carts to launch into the this little creek. They're loading up out of that that dumpster. Tell you what though, there's no shortage of trash around here. We just got loads. Maybe they expect the trash to be carried away by the river or by the by the water, the creek, rainfalls. Yeah, I'm in a big city area. Loitering. Yeah, mall, typical mall activity. Although there's really no... Maybe there's an entrance. Got the big old sign, two-story sign full of advertising for what businesses are here. This is a, it's a big city, Meridian. I don't know the size. I didn't see entering. All right, this is very suspicious. How do they have such a massive parking lot and there's no bums hanging out? They got trash everywhere, but they got virtually no bums hanging out in the parking lot. That's the fr and there are a couple of bums that are on foot. No cars, no run-down cars. Something's going on around here. I think they're taking... They don't have any signs, which is also uh, weird. No signs saying no overnight parking. They just don't have bums hanging out around here. It could be because it's a really new parking lot. It does have evidence of, of a newness to it. And that's a factor. So I see for Meridian, Mississippi, on Google Maps, they have a, a new air quality index on the, the Google Maps that you can't really hide. And when I see that, I think it might not be that new. It might be just a, a local regional area, a thing that can't have air quality indexes everywhere, not in small towns. And seeing, but seeing it does not give me hope. It says right now the air quality is good, but if they have to have an air quality index, it's, it gets bad. All right, I, I don't know, I just felt like passing a turn. That was a mistake, trying to get to Walmart. Instead, I get to the mall. Just bicycling that mile to Walmart and back is supposed to be just a warm up. I'm already tired. I wanna bicycle around to different mechanic shops and have a look see what they got for service there's a few few that have good ratings and they're kind of bunched together i really want to check them out but i don't want to drive I'll take my bicycle as far as i can there's a there's a like a library in the middle opens at nine so i could use that as a rest stop all right, Centralia, Mississippi, Centralia, Mississippi. Here's the Southern war cry. Nothing is ended until it is forgotten. 
we'll never forget the Civil War unless we have a few more. Then we'll kind of forget about it, just like we forgot about World War I. Meridian Civil War Trail. Rose Hill. Confederate, our Confederate dead awaiting the resurrection. Uh oh. The South is gonna make a comeback.